here's the works. There's a spray bar for the external filter and there's the Venturi for the internal filter which is down here and the pickup for the external filter is where the heater would normally be placed in here. Nice hole for it. What you can also see there is the water agitator, whatever you would call it, wave simulator, just sitting there producing a bit more activity in the water. And here's the external filter, it's a Fluval 205, and plumbed in line is a ultraviolet unit there that you can see. And you notice that there's non-standard pipe that's been used. The standard um, Fluval pipe is the corrugated stuff there. That's nightmarishly expensive. I've used it wherever possible, but this is just um, PVC, food grade piping and stainless steel hose clips. The only issue with those is on the suction side. This is the suction side in. There's actually a little bit of compression on the pipe due to the suction, but it's not impossible to, uh, to deal with. But yeah, there's the uh, UV unit. That was an eBay special for about £30. And the next task is to sort out the national grid in here. See there's a timer unit for the lights, which you currently don't use. And also a timer unit for the power supply for the UV unit. And that runs incredibly hot. Uh, I need to investigate that, but it's always been hot. And that's it really. Said hello to the fish. A little bit of good gene action down there. Other than that, very therapeutic. Very much looking after itself.